Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let's begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, in thanks and for today, Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Sue, Jerry Medeiros, John Castro, Joe Vargas, Gilberto Hernandez, Maria and Jout Vitoria, Hund Balanca, Eugenio Felicen, Francisco Maruga, Rene Armas, all the souls in purgatory, in thanksgiving for prayers answered. So now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most evil's fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, is God saying, why, O oh Lord, should you wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your, your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. 
Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Oreb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the, king, the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, her- terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as your faithful people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Praise you, you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my behalf, If I testify on my own behalf, my testify is not true, but there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was, a burn- <clears throat> he was a burning and shining lamb, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his sight. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testified on my behalf but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another, and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But If you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. (laughs) 
in this Lenten season that uh, we are called uh, to uh, practice prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. So in the first reading, we heard uh, the book of uh, Exodus that the people were mounting a golden calf and worshiping that mount and golden calf. And of course, that's idolatry against God, whom that God let Moses lead them out of Egypt, out of slavery. And now they worship other gods for them, that, which is, is not good in the eyes of God. And yet, we see that God about to punish them and make a new nation from Moses. But then Moses intercedes for them. So here we see how prayer works. Yet Moses, through his intercession for the people, Israelites' people, so God changed his mind. He was about to punish them, but then he changed his mind and he gave give them another chance. So in our life, sometimes that you say that, oh, I have been praying, but I have never seen any answer from God. So I pray really hard. I have praying and praying and praying, but God has never answered me. He just like a, um, his hands stressed out and he never answered anything. So we know that Jesus, even Jesus, sometimes that he taken time here and there by himself alone to the private place and then he just pray by himself to the Father. So in this Lenten season, we are called to pray. And yet in the gospel, we heard that Jesus said that if he testified on his own, that testify is, is not worthy. But then the work that he performed, which proved that he was sent from the Father. And John, as a human being, testified, and the people seemed like enjoy it for a while. People, the Jews, follow the laws, but then they don't understand it. They listen to the prophecy about the arrival of the Messiah, but then when the Messiah came, they did not recognize it. So God is with us. He's promised to remain with us until the end of times. God, yesterday, today, and tomorrow are the same. He loves us so much. He would never change that. That's the love of God. Nothing can change the love of God to us. So confidence in God's love in this Lenten season, let us love him in return by renouncing or going to confessions in order to make the way back to God in this Lenten season. May God bless us of us. Amen. Please rise. The response for us is, remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. God has revealed himself in Christ. Let us praise his goodness and ask him from our heart. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Teach us to enter more deeply into the mystery of the church, that it may be more effective for ourselves and for the world as the sacrament of salvation. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Lover of mankind, inspire us, work for human progress, seeking to spread your kingdom in all we do. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. May our hearts thirst for Christ, the fountain of living water. Remember us, Lord, for we are Forgive us our sins, 
and direct our steps into the ways of justice and sincerity. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. And we pray for all the intentions that we offer in this Mass. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Merciful Father, may the penance of our Lenten observance make us your obedient people. May the love within us be seen in what we do and lead us to the joy of Easter. Grant us to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit vine and work of human hands, you become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lord, Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered the will of his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring help to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron Cara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. So, Jerry Medeiros, John Castro, Joe Vargas, Gilberto Hernandez, Maria and Jov Vitoria, Hun Balanca, Eugenio Filensen, Francisco Maruga, Rene Armas, all the souls in purgatory. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from the trust, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us. We pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by the guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael. The archangel defends us in battle. Be our defense against the wicked and the snare of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Holy Host, by the power of God, to us and chain out Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruined souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Saint Bernard, the Lord be with you. Bow down for blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, repair them, that free from sin and safe from uh, the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The mass is ended. Thanks be to God. A blessed day to all of you.